What's going on here? We don't have tag, trailer lights, we got a busted out tire, but it should work. So here it is, on the trailer, 71 F100, picked it up, it's all dark and rainy now, but you'll be able to see it, you'll be able to see it better in the sunlight, but there it is, I'll go over more tomorrow. Well, here it is, just a little overview I'll do of uh, this F100, 71, no motor and transmission. Um, has uh, disc brakes on the front, which I don't think are factory. Pretty sure that was only next gen stuff, but the truck was obviously redone. Uh, probably early 2000s, I would say. Fresh paint and uh, stuff like that. But it's actually, um, for the most part, it's relatively clean. Cab mounts are clean. Bottom of the fenders are clean. Uh, inner fender on this side is clean where the battery was on the other side. The acid uh, ate away a little bit, but he patched it. Core support's clean, like both bumpers. Um, the little valance here is clean. Uh, the hood's got probably a couple pinholes, but it's actually pretty solid for the most part. The cab up along the drip rail is clean. Bottom of the doors. That's about the extent right there which is relatively just surface once they put all this seam sealer on it. But the, the worst part is this here, and then on the other side, it's one spot just like that over here, and then a little bit of the passenger floor pan about right here, but that's just super simple stuff. But the bed, it's a long bed. I need a short bed though, but the truck was like cheap enough, I would, you know, I'd buy a long bed. I've already shortened the other one I have um, down, so but that one's pretty rusty too. So and it needs a floor and tubs at least. The outside's pretty nice, but it needs a floor and tubs. So I might just cut this one down because this one's actually pretty freaking clean too. You see, like the inside, that's just all like surface rust. All the supports. It's got a nine inch in it. I think it's got a pretty good tailgate on it. Nice bumper. The only other rust on the bed is this right here. That's really not much. I mean like, you're talking like a three by three or three by four area out of this much metal. That's pretty good, it's 46 years old. Inner fenders here, pretty clean too. All supports and I guess the frame too, the frame's got some paint on it, but I think that's when they redid it. I don't think that's factory paint. The truck was definitely redone. It was a 302, probably a C4 tranny. Pretty basic setup, small block Ford. Has a booster. Had power steering too, but he took that out and I think he has the box from another truck, a manual box. I'm gonna try and bolt that in so I can steer this thing. But yeah, it's pretty clean otherwise. A lot of the sheet metal isn't cheap, that's for sure. Core supports and inner fenders and outer fenders. I mean, all this is straight too. Well, here's the interior. There's really not much to it. It's got a pretty okay seat, other than being like stained or it's just some ugly color, but yeah, someone painted like the inside, but this is all, you know, pretty intact. It's got an aftermarket radio. Other than that, interior is pretty good. Got a steering column. I guess a spare one. I already got a couple. Well, it's all clean. Just did a quick wash. Looks pretty good. And then I just went ahead and put the steering back in. You can see the Pitman Arm steering box in and uh, the steering column is back in the, in the truck so we can steer it. So, hooked everything up. We're just gonna slide it down the ramp and put it around the house. Just 
gonna thank Scott for letting me use his uh, winch and ghetto mounting it to the trailer and Brandon for supplying the truck and trailer. Junk.